good morning dear children i hope you all are fine today we are going to start lesson 10 that is verb tenses in this chapter we will study about the tense what is the tense what are the different kinds of tenses and uh, what are the uh uses of different kinds of tenses and how to frame the sentences all these in detail we are going to study in this chapter in today's class we'll study about what is a tense different kinds of tenses forms of verbs and about the simple present tense we'll study in this class what is a tense first of all dear children tense indicates the time of an action it tells us it express uh an action in terms of time tense indicates whether the action uh took place in the present or in the past or in the future it tells us about the time of an action whether it took place in the present past or future uh basically the tenses are divided into three parts what are they the first one is uh present tense then past tense and the future tense there are basically three tenses present tense past tense and the future tense the present tense indicates an action that takes place now past tense indicates the action that already took place that has already taken place sometime earlier and the future to indicate an action that is going to take place later so there are mainly three tenses present tense past tense and future tense dear children we can see the following diagram this timeline will help us to understand the three different kinds of tenses point a point b and point c this past present and future dear children point a stands for the time that has already gone before it means before and uh, which is already past which is already gone present indicates the point b indicates the present time it means uh, it talks about the present time means now something is happening now past indicates uh, the action which took place before and present indicates the action which takes place now in the present time and the point c indicates the time yet to come the time yet to come in future so it tells us about the action which will happen later so basically there are three tenses present tense past tense and future tense my dear children these three tenses are uh, divided into uh, four more categories into uh, each tense is divided into four more categories total there are 12 tenses let us see what are they the present tense is divided into four categories that is the simple means the simple present tense present continuous tense then the perfect tense and the perfect continuous tense perfect continuous tense each tense is divided into four more categories simple present 
present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous the same way past tense also simple past past continuous tense past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense the same way future tense it is simple future future continuous tense future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense so dear children we can see here there are total 12 tenses each tense is divided into four more categories so 4 plus 4 8 plus 4 12 there are 12 tenses and in this chapter we are going to study these different tenses uh, in this class in 6 standard uh, you are going to study about the simple continuous and perfect tenses now dear children let us see the different forms of verbs in different tenses in your book on page number 76 the table is given how to use uh, forms uh, of verbs in different tenses so let us start with present tense the simple for example we'll take the verb work we'll take the verb work in simple present tense either we use the base form or s or e s form of the verb according to the subject if the subject is singular we use s or e s form of the verb if the subject is plural we use the base form of the verb in present continuous tense present continuous tense we use the helping verbs is am or are plus ing form of the verb plus ing form of the verb we use clear is am are plus ing form of the verb if subject is singular we use is if subject is i we use am and if the subject is plural we use are so the work will be working clear and in uh, present perfect tense in present perfect tense we use the helping verbs or the auxiliary verbs has or have plus third form of the verb third form of the verb we use has or have plus third form of the verb and it becomes uh, has worked or have worked third form of the verb work is worked we know the different forms of the verbs we have already studied in the previous chapters so uh, once again i'll repeat uh there are basically five forms of the verbs first form present tense past second form past tense third form past participle there is s or es form of the verb and ing form of the verb ing form of the verb we always use in the continuous tenses clear in all the continuous tenses we use ing form of the verb and s or es form of the verb we use in present simple present tense we use as or es form according to the subject if the subject is singular then only we use it if the subject is plural we use base form of the verb in simple present tense and dear children in all the perfect tenses we use the third form of the verb along with the helping verbs has or have in simple uh, sorry in present tense in present perfect tense with has or have we use the third form of the verb now let us see the verb in simple past tense the form of verb in simple past tense in simple past tense we use the second form of the 
verb that is the past tense form of the verb it is also called the second form of the verb and for the verb work the second form of the verb is worked whether the subject is singular or plural in simple past tense we use the second form of the verb in past continuous tense dear children in past continuous tense we use the helping verbs was or were plus ing form of the verb if the subject is singular we use was if the subject is plural we use were and ing form of the verb already i told you in all the continuous tenses we use ing form of the verb and in the past perfect tense we use the helping verb had plus third form of the verb dear children whether the subject is singular or plural we use the helping verb had in past perfect tense and third form of the verb the main verb in its third form now let us see simple future tense in simple future tense we use shall or will shall or will plus base form of the verb base form of the verb shall or will usually we use shall with i and we and will we can use with i we and all uh, the uh, subjects so shall or will plus base form of the verb we use in simple future tense and in future continuous tense we use shall or will plus b plus ing form of the verb shall be working will be working in future continuous tense we use shall or will plus b plus ing form of the verb and in future continuous tense we use shall or will plus have plus third form of the verb we use shall or will plus have plus third form of the verb dear children this table tells us the different forms of verbs in different tenses once again we'll revise in simple present tense either we use the base form or s or e s form if the subject is singular we use s or e s form if the subject is plural we use uh, base form and then in simple uh, sorry present continuous tense we use is am are according to the subject and ing form of the main verb then in uh, present perfect tense we use has or have as helping verbs and third form of the verb then in uh, past tense in simple past tense we use second form of the verb whether the subject is singular or plural and in past continuous tense we use was or were plus ing form of the verb was or were we use according to the subject if the subject is singular in number we use was if the subject is plural in number we use were and in past perfect tense we use the helping verb had plus third form of the verb had we use whether the subject is singular or plural in both the cases in future simple future tense we use shall or will plus base form of the verb in future continuous we use shall or will plus b plus ing form of the verb and in future perfect we use shall or will plus have plus third form of the verb dear children in the previous chapter already we have studied the different forms of auxiliary verbs or helping verbs these are the be verbs have verbs and do verbs 
B verbs are is am are once again we'll revise B verbs are uh, sorry B verbs are is am are was or were we have studied their different uh, uses and uh, have verbs are the forms of have verbs are have has or had and the forms of do verbs forms of do verbs are do does or did we have already studied this in the previous chapter if you you can go through page number 70 and 71 the clear table is given about these different forms of verbs and how to use them now dear children we'll study simple present tense about the simple present tense we are going to study in this chapter dear children uh, in simple present tense uh, can be used simple present tense can be used in various types of sentences various types of sentences we know the different types of sentences are affirmative sentence negative sentence or interrogative sentence how to frame the sentences in simple present tense what is the structure of different uh, sentences first of all we'll study about affirmative sentence affirmative sentence affirmative sentences are also called the positive sentences what is the structure the structure is subject plus verb plus object or complement object or complement now dear children if the subject is i v u they or any plural subject if the subject is i v u they or any plural subject we use base form of the verb we use base form of the verb for example we take the uh, verb watch we use base form of the verb if the subject is i we you they or any plural subject we use base form of the verb then comes the object or complement so the sentence can be i watch television i watch tele vision if the subject is i we you they or any plural subject we use base form of the verb and dear children if the subject is she he or any singular subject singular subject we use s or es form of the verb we use s or es form of the verb and that is watches plus the object television clear so the structure of the affirmative sentence in simple present tense is subject plus verb and object your verb can be either base form of the verb or s or es form of the verb verb according to the subject if the subject is i we you they or any plural subject we use base form of the verb and if subject is she he or any singular subject we use s or es form of the verb now let us see how to make negative sentences in simple present tense the structure is subject plus negative verb the word of negation and then the verb in its base form and then the object dear children if the subject is and now for making negative uh, sentence we use the form of do verb the form of do verb in present tense it is present so do or does we use plus the word of negation that is not 
do and does we use according to the subject if our subject is i v you they or any plural subject we use to the form of do verb that is do plus the word of negation not do not plus the verb in its base form base form of the verb we use that is watch i do not watch plus the object clear in negative sentence if the subject is i we you they or any plural subject we use do plus the word of negation not and verb in its base form and dear children if the subject is she he or any singular subject any singular subject we use does we use does and then the word of negation not does not plus the verb in its base form verb in its base form then the object or the complement clear so negative sentence the structure of negative sentence in simple present tense is subject negative form uh, verb in its base form and then the object if the subject is i we you they or any plural subject we use the form of two verb do plus the word of negation not and the verb in its base form and if the subject is she he or any singular subject we use the form of two verb that is does plus the word of negation not and the verb in its base form now dear children let's see how to frame uh, interrogative sentences in simple present tense interrogative sentences can be of two type first one is yes no type and the second one is wh word the question uh, whose answers usually come in yes no are called yes no type question and the questions which are beginning with wh words like who when whom what why where all these are wh words so let us see the structure of yes no type question first first of all comes the uh, do form of verbs uh, uh, do verbs plus the subject and the verb in its base form and then comes the object dear children here also for making question do or does we use according to the subject if your subject is i v you they or any plural subject we use do the sentence begins with the helping verb do plus the subject plus the verb in its base form do i watch television is that clear we begin our sentence with the helping verb do or does in present tense according to the subject and dear children if our subject is she he or any singular subject we use does does she watch the verb in its base form and then comes the object clear this is about interrogative sentence the structure of interrogative sentence which kind of interrogative it is yes no type question first of all comes the form of do verb then comes subject followed by the verb in its base form and then comes the object now let us see how to frame interrogative sentence which kind of wh question how to make wh question what is the structure for making wh question first of all we use wh word i already told wh words are like why when where uh, whom all these are wh words wh word plus do or does the helping verb do or does according to the subject 
and then the verb in its base form and then comes the object. Let us see the example. Why, WH word why, do the subject can be I, V, U, they or any plural subject. And then we use the verb in its base form and then comes uh, the object. Why do I watch television? And as it is interrogative sentence, we put question mark at the end. And uh, let us see another example. Why if the subject is he, she or any plural singular subject. We use does and the verb in its base form plus the object and at last the question mark. Why does he watch television? Why does he watch television? So this is the structure of different kinds of sentences how to frame affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences in simple present tense we have learned. So, I think this much is enough for today's class and dear children, it is very important. If we know the perfect English, if we want to speak correctly, we should learn tenses in a proper way. We should learn the different forms of verbs in which tense, which form of the verb do we use that, should, uh, that we should learn. So, the table which is given on page number 76, it is very important, please go through this table again and learn the different forms of verbs and revise the structure, how to frame the sentences, simple present tense sentences, in, uh, affirmative sentence, negative and interrogative sentences. Thank you.